The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, never forget the deeds of the Lord. That's what we prayed in the responsorial psalm this morning. But look at the life of the people of Israel in the wilderness. They forgot the deeds of the Lord. They forgot how Yahweh delivered them, saved them from the slavery of Egypt. They forgot how they were led through the Red Sea. They forgot how God protected them and guided them through His presence by means of pillar of cloud and pillar of fire. Here's a group of people who forgot the deeds of the Lord. Today, this feast day reminds us to remember the great things that the Lord has done in our lives and the Lord is doing in our lives. That is not the end. The people of Israel also forgot what the Lord has prepared for them. The Lord had promised to them that He is going to lead them to a land of milk and honey. Now, in the present situation in the wilderness, because of their thirst and hunger, now they are murmuring, they are complaining to God and to Moses. They forgot their past and they don't remember their future. They forgot their destination, their goal. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast day, let us examine our lives. We ask ourselves, do we forget our past? Do we fail to remind ourselves about our future? Are we worried too much about our present, what we are going through? Are we focusing too much on our difficulties, our pains, our crisis at the present moment? Or can we turn back and see the great things that the Lord has done in our lives? And also, can we look with hope what God is going to do for us tomorrow and in the future? That is the first message, first lesson on this feast day of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. Now coming back to the people in the wilderness, when they murmured, when they complained, God sent serpents and some were killed and some were injured. Now, they could see many people dying. They could see many people injured. And now, they admitted their mistakes. They went to Moses and said, We have committed sin against you and against God. And what did Moses say? What did God say? God or Moses did not ask them to fight against the serpents. God or Moses did not ask them to look for a medicine or ointment. They did not ask them to minister to one another. God asked only one thing, to make another serpent. And the people looked at that bronze serpent and they were brought back to life. If the fall of the man happened because of the disbelief in God, now a new life is given to them by their faith in the Lord. 
that is the second message for us my dear brothers and sisters let us not look at our own wounds let us not look for solution by ourselves we have an answer in the lord let us open our eyes and look at him let us raise our heads and eyes and focus our attention on the lord the lord on the cross and the lord who is risen because he is powerful than everyone and everything in this holy eucharist we pray for the grace to remember the great things that the lord has done in our lives let us not forget the great works of the lord let us turn to the lord for power for strength amen